Hi, this is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. Uh, first, I would like to thank everyone who has viewed my videos, who has left me comments and feedback. It is appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, today, I would like to ta start a series on um, the more affordable side of Dooney and Burke. Um, on YouTube, there are a lot of uh, Dooney and Burke videos, but they seem to focus more on the Florentine leather bags or the more expensive bags and the floor especially the Florentine satchels and those bags are about four hundred dollars a pop and for someone who wants to um, you know step into or try Dooney and Burke I want to show them that um, there are beautiful uh, affordable bags that they can choose from so uh, the first part um, like I said, I want to do a series and I want to feature three different bags from Duty and Burke and the three bags are the Lexington Shopper, then I am going to do the Zip Zip Satchel, and then the last one will be the Pebble Leather, Pebble Leather Crossbody. Um, a lot of times uh, QVC discounts these bags. Uh, last month I think uh, they had the um, Pebble Leather pebble leather shopper for $149 a month and then of course they offered the easy pays which made it really easy to um, you know be to, to be able to afford these bags also uh, sometimes I love Dooney uh, they also offer discounts on these bags um, so again you know um, it, I think it would be an easy way for someone who wants to try a high quality designer bag uh, this would be a great way for them to um, get to experience Dooney and Burke without spending a whole lot of money. So like I said, today I'm going to start with the um, Lexington Shopper, the Pebble Leather Lexington Shopper. Um, I have three of these bags. This is the uh, Blush. This is the Persimmon. And this is, I'm going to say, this is the Midnight Blue. I could be wrong. Um, I just want to do a demonstration on how the bag functions and the organization within the bag and how the bag carries. So, uh, like I said, this is the Lexington Shopper. Uh, it has, it is pebbled leather throughout the bag. This is the side. This is the back. The other side. And of course, this is the front. And there are four feet on the bottom. Now, I do not have the measurements for these bags. I probably should have the measurements. But um, this is a tote. What is this in here? Now this, I don't know if I've carried this one just yet. Of course I've carried these two. This is the newer of the three. Um, but it does have a front pocket on the front. And this pocket is large enough to fit most cell phones. I carry the iPhone 6 Plus. This is the case because I'm recording with my phone right now. And oh, it fits all the way in. And you have the same type of pocket on the back. And again, it fits all the way in. On the inside, you have the red lining, the red cotton lining exterior. And the really nice thing about Dooney and Burke is on their um, totes, they extend out the zipper so that when you want to leave it open, the sides or the flaps fold in and just give the bag a really nice look and a little bit more structure. Now, these bags will, these bags um, are well supported. They're not going to flop down. It has a really nice base. Um, 
it's going to stand up. Uh, now, the organization within the bag, let me get closer. Like I said, it has the red lining. You have two deep pockets on one wall. And again, the my case for my iPhone 6 Plus definitely fits in this one because this is the larger of the two pockets. And then I believe it's going to be a tight fit for the other one, but I believe, yes, it will fit in the second pocket. And then on the other wall, you have a zipper compartment. zipper compartment and then a slip pocket now it's a nice size bag it's a pretty deep bag good capacity it's not a large bag but it's if, if you don't carry a whole lot of items it's a it's a nice size bag to carry every day and what I like is you have plenty of clearance the side to carry the bag. It's really, really nice. And then a lot of times how uh, what um, the uh, representative from Dooney and Burke states is that you can take one strap off, you can get into your bag, get whatever it is you need, put the strap back on, and go. And she's right, you can do that. And of course, like I said, it zips up. So you have the really nice security if you want your items to be secured as you are going about your day. So again, this is a really, really nice bag. A uh, really beautiful bag. Uh, let me show you what fits. Now today I am, let me just get my other, today I am carrying the bag, the other bag that I'm going to be talking about, the Zip Zip Satchel in the blush color. So uh, I normally carry a uh, purse organizer and since I have come back from vacation, uh, it's been a mess. <laughs> but I do want to show you uh, what fits in the um, Lexington Shopper and give you an, a good idea as to what fits in this bag. Now I carry the uh, Peria bag organizer. It's the medium size. Uh, should fit in this bag. So what I'm going to try to do is demonstrate that this, yeah, yeah, it easily fits in. As you can see, it fits in and you still have a little bit, yeah, you have room on the side to get a water bottle or an umbrella. You still have a lot of room. So, like I said, it does have nice capacity. And remember, you still have the pockets on the side and then the zipper compartments on the other side. So, good, good capacity. So, that is the Lexington Shopper. 
if you have any questions, uh, you know, please leave your comments or uh, feedback below and I will respond back. Thank you very much. Have a good night. I'm about